everybody back on YouTube um, it's been a while I had my camera had a couple batteries go bad and then the screen was cracked um, but I'm out here today it's October 10th or so and getting the corn head ready the corn is still about 10 days away but uh, this corn heads new to me uh, one of the first things we did was decide to put the calmer stock rolls in um, the old snapping rolls are here and they were seized on the shaft so the first job boy I'm almost six weeks ago was to pull the old pull those stock rolls off with a puller and then uh, start stripping it down and try to salvage what we could and we're reusing uh, the the old chains and the sprockets and the other they're not too badly worn I had to change out some deck plates here which was worn but these underlying plates are in decent shape um, ultimately we, uh, we pressure washed this and wire wheeled it and then uh, primed it and repainted it then I put the new stock rolls back in um, on each row and they're held in with roll pins and a little bit of uh, and a Loctite when I, until I came down to this row here, everything was going fine. Uh, someone had hit a rock with this. I believe they hit a rock. It hit something. This part, this side of the snot was down five eighths, and this side was down a quarter all the way across. I Meaning this was bent down, bent up, rather. So the problem would be that I don't know if you can see those stock rolls only clear, maybe a quarter inch, three eighths in there, and. That meant this deck would be hitting this stock or it just wouldn't work so I needed to bend this back I got it hot and bent it I heated it really hot over here and over here and got a jack under the end and jacked it up then the next problem was in order to get at this gearbox all four of these bolts these uh, recessed head I don't know what you call them cap screw head they were all seized in there and this one here the new the new one had snapped off previous so I weld a little nut on the top and got that one out and then I heated up these other three here uh, to get them to back out so I could take this whole unit off. Um, the gearboxes and the, the bearings seem to be in good shape. There's very little play in any of the spindles or anything. Um, and I just did a test run after installing uh, these chains on this one here so it, it seems to be running fine uh, everything is adjusting fine so I'm gonna come out and do that in a little bit I'll, I'll take you over here and show you uh, the pile of chains and parts and whatnot that need to go back on so we took off so this pallet this pallet or this is one pallet and then that pallet and then those knives there as well as those chains that's all going to get rebolted to those deck plates. And here were the old, some of the old deck plates. I tried to weld a patch in here, but it just kept cracking. And then it was really worn where the chains was riding, were riding on either side. So they were, I think, uh, six, $30 a piece from shoot. Was that right? Yeah, $60 a row. Um, so 350 bucks for those parts, but for the most part, I'm able to reuse quite a bit. It looks a little rusty, but it's not worn. So that's um, what I'm getting ready to do here this afternoon. Uh, the other stuff looks pretty good. Uh, the drill's away. It needs to get rebuilt. Um, not horribly bad, but there's a lot of wear, wear parts on that that needs to happen before we plant uh, drill peas next spring. The 8100's in good shape. Um, I got the 7220 in decent shape. Flail mower is uh, is looking pretty good. Um, this needs fluids and filters changed on it. And I've got all that sitting $600 worth of stuff over there in front of those trash cans. Um, so I still have some projects to do while the weather's nice. It's been a beautiful day here. And, uh, well, I'll, I'll say that's all for now. And... We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.